Hey, this is Movie Eds, and this is my months end for March 2022 movie haul. Another month has passed us, and wow, that was fast. And uh, congratulations to the new Best Picture winner, Coda. Now, I have Apple TV+, Plus, but uh, I haven't get a chance to watch it yet. My guess is either that movie's going to end up on Criterion or it will get some kind of special uh, Blu-ray 4K release. And I'll probably pick it up then. Right now, not on physical. So, yeah, I'll get it eventually. I'm going to start out with, um, I got some eBay here. I got Amazon. I got a video game movie dome. And uh, I even got something from Groove. That's right. And... Disney Movie Club. Did I mention Disney Movie Club? I have Disney Movie Club. So, let's get started. Shouldn't take that long. First one is from a YouTuber by the name of Channel Donstar. His real name is Roger. And he's having, you know, issues with health and insurance and stuff like that. So, he's selling off his collection little by little. Um, and I thought, you know, I'll help him out. I helped him out with his... Uh, collection before you know I bought all of his Big Bang uh, seasons off of him on blu-ray and uh, this time it's an out-of-print movie Santa Claus the movie with Dudley Moore never seen it I always wanted to but it's out of print now so it's kind of hard to find he gave me a good deal on it it was brand new factory sealed and uh, so yeah I might change the case out, but uh, since this is a Christmas movie, it's only going to be in my Christmas, like, big tub of Christmas movie, so I might not bother with that. Another one that I got from um, eBay, this is um, this is for my Peanuts collection, Snoopy, Charlie Brown, yeah, uh, but I wanted it also for the Christmas collection, but it probably won't end up in that bin full of Christmas movies. It'll end up in my Peanuts collection. It's, uh, I want a dog for Christmas, Charlie Brown. I haven't seen this one, and I uh, wanted to get a hold of it. I found it on eBay, pretty good price, and it comes with a slip. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, is this uh, one special on here? And uh, that special is 41 minutes. There's a bonus one on here. Happy New Year's, Charlie Brown, which is on Apple TV Plus right now. But um, <clears throat> that's the only way you could get it, I think. There might be another release with it on it, but uh, yeah. I mean, two specials, all right. So that is um, I Want a Dog for Christmas, Charlie Brown. Finally, my Christmas stuff. I was looking for IMAX movies to put into my IMAX collection, mostly DVD ones that I didn't have. And I do have a IMAX collection videos coming in April. I still haven't figured out if I want to do a, a week long series or one every week. I haven't figured that out yet. But um, this one came up and I was like kind of intrigued because I never seen it. And it is a uh, Santa versus the snowman. It's a 3D version, but this is like the, you know, the glasses 3D version. So I found it existed. So I went on eBay and I found a good seller for it. The disc is pretty good, pretty mint. And it's got the lenticular slip. This was originally the first animated 3D movie for IMAX theaters. It's only 33 minutes, so it's... You know, this would be shown probably at like science dome theaters or maybe uh, like history museums have um, IMAX theaters or even they would be shown at like the regular IMAX theaters. So, yeah, I thought this would be cool for the Christmas collection and for my IMAX collection. This will be shown during my IMAX collection for DVDs, but... That will probably be the last time because it's probably just going to end up in the Christmas collection. That's it. Now, let's get into... Uh, yeah, these are all eBay. All eBay finds. And um, 
first off, can't believe I found this at a really good price and it was from blow it on out of here i think it's called i bought from them many many times but uh they had this brand new factory sealed they still have a few left so i grabbed it as soon as i could it is dirty work with norm mcdonald this movie i've been looking for for the longest time i have it on dvd which i'm probably going to make this a combo pack and put the dvd in there it's also an out of print olive films title you can see the back there it's olive films so yes it's a great norm mcdonald movie so i feel as though i got to get that for my comedy collection and it's also directed by the late great bob saget so rest in peace bob saget and norm mcdonald dirty work if you haven't seen it might be on streaming somewhere. It's a Poseidon adventure. I have not had this on Blu-ray, the original. I thought I did, but I don't. But I had the sequel, not the sequel, the um, remake, which is pretty good in my opinion. This one's got a really good cast. It's got Gene Hackman, Ernest Borden 9, Red Buttons, uh, Ronnie McDowell, Stella Stevens, Shelley Winters, and I think there's more. Jack Albertson, he's from um, Willy Wonka and a Chocolate Factory. Where, or is it Charlie and a Chocolate Factory? The, the original was Willy Wonka. Well, whatever. But uh, yeah, he played the the grandpa in it. And um, there's there's some other. Leslie Nielsen plays the captain, but uh, he doesn't really last in this movie that long. But if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend to check this out. And it's also. 20th Century Fox so God knows if they're gonna re-release this thing because the mouse owns it another out-of-print movie that I did find eight men out freaking good movie about the Black Sox scandal and it's Chicago so I gotta have it you know I love Chicago movies next trying to get all of the Cary Grant movies that was put out on um, all the films as well and um, I think I have like two right now. Uh, I'm trying to get more. I have either I have two or three. I don't remember. But I want to get, get them all. There's maybe like eight in total. Roughly eight. But it is The Grass is Greener. Since this one, I was looking it up on eBay. This is the, the one that's hardest to find. I found a uh, used copy for a pretty decent price. So I grabbed it. And... Um, this is all this is owned by Paramount. So if it does get another release, Paramount either might put it out or you know, maybe Kino, who knows. But uh, this is this is um, a Cary Grant movie I have not seen. Another one that I have seen on 20th Century Fox Movie Channel. And it's called Fox Movie Channel. And it, if you have it on cable, you'll know what I'm talking about. And this movie was basically, um, it's 1974, but it won for Best Actor. And it is Harry and Tonto, Art Carney won for Best Actor. This movie is actually a comedy, a little bit of drama in there, but Art Carney does a great job. It's a great storyline. Didn't know this had an official release, but unfortunately it's Japan. Uh, didn't have one here. But it's officially released by Fox. The only thing is, I thought because it's written in English here, it was going to be written in English on the side. Nope. So I might have to like create something to put over that. And uh, because usually when you see the little J card like this, underneath is English. But this time, no. I used to buy a bunch of Japanese imports uh, for CDs. Bands like U2, NXS, REM you know back in the 90s and part of 2000s beginning of 2000s and this is my very first Japanese uh, import and the thing is is that I guess Japan has the same region as America because it's region a locked so go figure of course I can't read anything on the back because it is all in Japanese but unfortunately but I know what the movie's about and then the like a little 
pamphlet of what they sell and stuff, but I can't read any of that because, yeah, whatever. But the disc itself, really nice, and it's got English on it, so I don't have to worry about that. So it is Harry and Tonto. This is also eBay, but technically it's not. I got two from Groove, not their website. They have a eBay page, and I didn't know that. I came across it looking for something else. First one was in Bruges. I love this movie. It's great. I just never had it in my collection. I wanted to get the second sight release of it, but it goes for a lot of money. But this one, it'll, it'll do just fine. It's got uh, deleted scenes on it. Deleted and extended scenes, gag reel, uh, boat trip around Bruges, and uh, that's about it on here. Might have a trailer too, who knows. Um, simple artwork. But yeah, I wanted this film for a very long time. When I seen this movie, this, the storyline is absolutely fantastic. But as I seen the cinematography of this, I'm like, damn, I'm going to go visit this place because it looks fantastic. It looks beautiful. So it's in Bruges. Next, I got one for my wife because she has this on DVD and I wanted to upgrade it for her. I know, aw, I'm so, I'm so special. Anyway, this is one of her favorites. It is Ma um, Meet Joe Black with uh, Brad Pitt, Anthony Hopkins. I, I never seen this. Now that it's on Blu-ray, I plan on watching it. But the thing is like three hours and one minute long. Long movie, but I heard it was really super good. And uh, simple things like that. So I got this $6.95, this for $6.95, and it came out to be 11 something because there was like a little discount. You buy one or you, you buy two or more and you get a certain percentage off. So it was a good deal. It was well worth doing. And I might go back there again and see if they have any other catalog titles that I need for my collection that uh, I've been looking for. Let's go to eBay again. Yes, I bought a lot of stuff off of eBay. Most of the stuff that I bought that I'm showing you was brand new factory sealed. I open them up now because I found out even if the disc is attached inside right, through the mail, the disc spins around in there and sometimes they get scratched or scuffs or something like that. So now I open them up no matter what. Um, this is from my go-to seller on eBay, right here, my go-to seller. If you want to check him out, they're located in Texas. There's all the information. You can pause the screen. And I'll also put the link below for his eBay site. He's got a lot of imports from Germany to Australia um, to UK and other imports. And I got this release from him and it is Gunpowder Milkshake. Now, this is sold on Stinky Tuna, which I could have got, but I'd rather get a pressed disc than a bootleg. And um, <clears throat> this is, I think it's a Norwegian release, or they call them Scandinavian releases. It's got Denmark, it's got Sweden, uh, and I don't know my flags, but I should, but there you go. There's all the flags and stuff listed and it's right down there. And, <clears throat> and, um, this was an action packed movie and it, it is a uh, region be locked everywhere in the world got this release except for America, even Canada. I don't think got this. Netflix have been doing that from time to time. They've been releasing movies on Blu-ray. They're available, but not in the States. So it's kind of it's kind of bullshit, but you know, they're releasing them. You could get them, but they're region be locked. The only movie that didn't get a region be locked was Liam Neeson in the movie Ice Road. Everywhere else in the world got it, and they're all be region locked, except for Canada. Canada got it on Blu-ray as Region A, which is the same as the United States. So if you're looking for that Netflix movie, it's in Canada and you can get it on um, Amazon Canada right now or eBay probably too. So Gunpowder Milkshake, 
the uh, there was better um, better artwork on some of the other countries, but uh, this is the one that he had. So this is the one I'm going to get. Gunpowder Milkshake. If you haven't checked it out, it's on it's on Netflix. Go check it out. It's awesome. I'll show you what I got from um, Video Game Movie Dome, and then I'll do some non-media stuff. Um, the one release I got from the Video Game Movie Dome was not even for me. It was for my wife. She has this on DVD. She wanted to upgrade it, but she never could find it. And this is Letters to Juliet, but it's got the great slipcover. It's embossed if you can actually pick that up on camera there it's actually embossed the lettering is all embossed parts of the picture uh, where's it at right here is embossed so it's a really nice slip um the only problem is i'm not even going to bother trying to get this off because it usually rips best buy stickers and um walmart stickers are a pain in the ass to take off so um so now she's got this for her collection. I'll probably make it a um, a um, combo pack, even though it's a flipper disc. Blu-ray on this side, DVD on the other side, so whatever. And uh, it even shows you on here, Blu-ray and this. I, I don't think that concept lasted that long. This is like one of three discs I have like that, which I couldn't stand, but... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably just put the uh, the regular DVD in here, so there you go. Now, the other stuff I got from the video game Movie Dome, non-media stuff. So I want to show this right now, and it is um, kind of finishing up my McDonald's Pops collection. And uh, this is Hamburger Rubble Rubble. This is what I needed, and um, yes, really cool. The only one I need is Mayor McCheese, which I'll probably end up getting for my birthday because I put it on my wish list. And yeah, these, I'm really not too. It was like, meh, I never really liked Fly Guys. The rest of these I do have. And um, that brings me to the next one that she added a hold for me that I bought Grimace. Yes. And uh, Grimace supposed to be the shake person it's supposed to depict shakes i never got now what the hell is grimace what the hell is grimace he always used to be the shake character well whatever but um anyone out there that is a big mcdonald's fan remember the green grimace for saint patrick's day there was a green grimace. Now, I don't know if it was his cousin, his brother, his uncle. I don't remember. But does anyone remember that out there out in uh, YouTube land? Because they should have made that one as a bonus for St. Patrick's Day, but they didn't. But, um, yeah, really cool. And uh, there is another one I'm looking for. If anybody has any information on where I can get it at a good price, it is uh, Captain Crook. And he was the pirate that uh, was the mascot for the filet of fish And um, I, I can't find it that cheap. The, most, the cheapest I could find it for is 30 bucks Because it was from 2020 and it was, a, um, it was an exclusive for Comic-Con, which never happened. So, yeah. Anyway, Disney Movie Club stuff. I got the pin with the movies and that is for Encanto. And congratulations for Encanto for winning best animated feature film, which it deserved. Very good. And that's Mary Bell right there. Do have another pin coming from uh, Disney Movie Insiders, which I got coming, but I didn't get it yet. No, I'll show that in my next haul video. And this was just something that I like receiving. Um, People are like, oh, do paperless, paperless for the for the Disney Movie Club um, stuff for each month. And I'm like, no, I don't like that. Because Disney Movie Club will give you exclusive stuff like this inside the envelopes. And this is just stickers. This is one big decal. This is a decal. This is a decal. These are all decals. And um, I thought these were for eggs at first, but no, they're actual stickers. So, yeah. So there you go. Something exclusive from the Disney Movie Insiders. 
no Disney Movie Club my bad this is from the Disney Movie Club so once in a while you will get stuff in the envelope that is a kind of a limited edition stuff or exclusive to that that's all the non-media stuff I have next boom right here I have from Amazon Amazon I was going on it and uh, some of the stuff I bought uh, in February because I didn't know if I was gonna get that much stuff for April no March my bad I don't even know what month it is I bought it in February to show in March because I didn't know if I was gonna get that much stuff in March I only had one pre-order in March and I just happened to find a lot of good sale deals well one of them I found on Amazon good price this movie I've been waiting to get my hands on and uh, I don't buy many uh, Scream Factory stuff but when it's my favorite stuff that I watched year and year and over and over again yeah I want it in my collection I think the only Shout Factory or Scream Factory that I really still want is uh, House on Haunted Hill I actually do want a um, a copy of that this is a disc really cool and the outside or the inside artwork is the same as the disc or same as the um, slip and uh, I'm going to flip it and use the original artwork if I can get in there yeah and uh, yeah I like this better because it's the original art poster artwork and this is the one that was on the video cassette and I did have the video cassette at one point and I used to watch the hell out of it there you go so I have it now I could watch it Halloween time <sighs> haven't seen this in a long time so I'm stoked to have it yeah the slip cover it was it was actually sealed this factory sealed so I love how uh, some companies are doing that now because these used to be at the store people used to take off the slip because they have no common courtesy for others and you know it would not come with a slip when you seal the whole thing in, in together there's a slip inside I, you get to get the slip so don't be ignorant when you go into stores and you see that stuff because it's just rude all right next another um, shop factory Shout Factory release that I wanted to get. Unfortunately, no slip on this, but I wanted to upgrade my um, version of The Burbs on Blu ray to this because I know this has a better transfer than the one that I have, but it has all of the features that the Blu ray did and plus them. So I'm sorry about the scalaire, but yeah. So this is The Burbs. Really great comedy dark great comedy a lot of people that were in this movie passed away like Gail Gordon played the neighbor he passed away Carrie Fisher passed away unfortunately and um, there was somebody else that passed away um, Dick Miller he played the garbage man he, he passed away so you know movies are losing a lot of people um, this one like that and then you got the uh, original artwork which I don't know I kind of like this dark artwork so I might flip it from time to time if I get tired of it but yes I'm glad I have the um, better cleaner updated version of the burbs and then finally from Amazon I still have more here I have brand new first time on blu-ray ordinary people yes with uh, this is the Academy Award winning Ordinary People Best Picture for 1980 and Best Supporting Actor Timothy Hutton that's right and uh, I got the I got the um, Paramount Presents line which is not that special all you're getting is a, a slip pretty much you yeah. know and um, the back there was a uh, a code for this and I'm gonna and I'm trying to sell it online so there you go if you haven't seen 
the Paramount Presents. Now, the only complaint I have about these Paramount Presents line, I love the fact that they use the clear cases, but these cases are just as bad as the recycle cases um, because these are so flimsy that eventually these are going to crack if they get dried out or something. And uh, if you can notice it, this plastic, it wrinkles up fast. It's not even that strong to pull in and out the uh, inlay. So that's my complaint about these cases. They're not that great. Um, even when you open it, the um, it's kind of flimsy. This is the inside artwork right there. And the uh, disc got artwork on it. More than likely, a lot of these Paramount Presents are going to get re-released under a standard um, Blu-ray, Amaray cases. So, directed by Robert Redford, and it is uh, 2 hours and 4 minutes. And I have not seen this one. I got it on DVD, and um, I needed it for my Best Picture collection, which is up right now, and you can see it. And <clears throat> I got the DVD to do that video. But as soon as I got that DVD, this was announced. It always works that way. Uh, next, from Walmart, picked this up. I didn't pick this up at A1. I think I picked it up the week after. King's Band, this is the uh, Walmart exclusive. You can see on top. I like how they do this in the banner. It doesn't take away from anything, but it tells you where it's from. And uh, I think companies should do that. And uh, down here, it is exclusive bonus disc. And it's got two features on it. And on this bonus disc, it's like 30, lo 30 minutes long. So it's well worth getting. Um, different artwork, which is outstanding on the inside. This is the regular artwork. And uh, there you go. Uh, you got that. And this is the, um, yeah, this is the extra bonus disc on DVD, which could have been on Blu-ray, but oh well. Um, so yeah, there you go, there you go. And then I think there's another disc. Yeah, this is the Blu-ray disc underneath. So I'm always in for the um, bonus material, even though they don't do it that much anymore, but it is fun to collect. Finally, finally, yes, it's towards the end. This is Disney Movie Club. And I uh, haven't bought from them in a long time. Well, exclusives. I have bought, you know, the major releases and stuff. So I get them and I don't have to go to the store. So one of them is one of their new Disney Movie Club exclusives. And these are worth getting. It is the, um, the Gnome Mobile, which i never seen. This is from 1967. One of those movies that I guess escaped me, if it ever was shown on TV. And uh, it's got Walter Brennan in there. And there's the Three Stooges um, tie-in from there because he was in the short Restless Nights. So he did work with the Stooges. And uh, you got... You got... Da, 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 Ed Wynn. He was a comedian from the... 30s and 40s and 50s and he had his own TV show and he, he's pretty he's a pretty funny guy and also he had the Three Stooges Mulder and Shimp on his TV show so Walter Brennan worked with Mulder and Curly and Edwin worked with Mulder and Shimp so Three Stooges tie in there so I'm a Three Stooges fan and stuff so um, it is a basic release but at least they use fonts you know the fonts of it so yeah this one I can't wait to get and get to see uh, how long is this movie this movie would be approximately 84 minutes it's Darby O'Gillis and the little people Derby Derby O'Gillis and the little, Dar let me rephrase that Derby O'Gill and the little people there I go I've seen this movie I think since I was five years old, they used to constantly watch this or show it on TV um, every freaking St. Patrick's Day week and St. Patrick's Day. So this movie is 
It's got sentimental values. I remember watching this with my family all the time. It's like, yeah, this is a movie you can't, you know, not watch on um, St. Patrick's Day. And I did watch this on St. Patrick's Day. And that week I watched all the um, Leprechaun movies. So this one also has all... This was on DVD, but it wasn't a proper aspect ratio. It was in 1331. The proper aspect ratio for this movie was 1661, which I think they were going to make this for made for TV at one point, and then they decided not to and released it at the theater. Sean Connery's only movie that he did not use a Scottish accent in, and it's kind of weird to hear him... Um, not use it but it's kind of an irish accent that he uses in this movie bonus uh, bonus extra you got all new digital transfer this is the same transfer i think as disney plus which is you know you can watch it there as well mr connery goes to hollywood little people big effects i captured the king of the leprechaun which is a um uh, Walt Disney presents TV special with uh, Walt Disney and uh, I haven't seen that one either but it is well worth probably checking out there you go um, this movie was um, 90 minutes in total so yeah I'm so happy to have this in my collection finally in blu-ray with the special features imported on there so there you go so if you're looking for these two, they're on Disney Movie Club right now. Go support Disney Movie Club so they can release more stuff like this. There's a ton of exclusives that you can't buy at the store. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, or anything else, leave them down below. You can leave them also on my Instagram page at MovieEdge1. You can see all my non-media stuff at Movie Edge Non Media, which... I have, to re I have to update again. And um, if you want, like, comment, subscribe. I highly suggest you do those three. Also, tell your friends not to be freeloaders and watch this shit for free. Because, you know, I don't get paid in ad revenue. So, I want to get more people to watch my channel. So, remember... Movies are your best entertainment. Catch you next month, people.